G'day, this is Captain Noob, and this is the submachine shotgun. A submachine gun fused with a combat shotgun, with I'm going to guess reasonably good damage output. Getting into the attachments here, so you can make this at home if you feel like it. Otherwise, just skip straight to the action. Got the powerful receiver from the submachine gun, and that'll just give us the best damage. If you want even higher rate of fire, be sure to check out the rapid receiver for a submachine gun. So if you want it to spit even more shells, chuck that on. But I went for the powerful receiver for better base damage. Next up, the long ported barrel from the combat rifle and the recoil compensating stock. Now, um, this weapon was inspired from a comment that I got, and I've also got uh, people asking for me to put more PS4 friendly mods on this channel, so I've gone ahead and done that. Now, the bloke who commented all the attachments put on this gun didn't said marksman stock. But since the combat shotgun and, um, and rifle marksman stock look the same as a recoil compensating stock, I'll be chucking that on for better recoil control. Next up, we've got a quick eject drum mag from the submachine gun, and that'll give us a good ammo capacity, but it's, it's not going to feel like it because it's not going to last long. Next up, we've got the reflex sight from the double barrel shotgun. Uh, it's, it's just a reflex sight. It's not going to make much difference what one I use. I just chose that one because it's the first reflex sight I found. And of course, a hunting rifle suppressor. Not only that will that keep us stealthy, but we'll get a little bit of extra damage out of it. And we've also got the jacketed hollow point legendary effect, which does plus 20 base uh, base damage and critical damage, and plus 50% at fire rate and a little bit of bleed damage along with that. So I'm pretty sure this thing is going to be very, very overpowered with all of that attached onto it. So without further ado, let's get into Gunners Plaza, see what this bad boy can do. Alright, so here we are in Gunners Plaza, and I feel like it's been a long time since I've done a wacky weapon on this channel, and that is simply because I really haven't found the creative juices to be able to do that And Oh, okay, this thing's doing well. I think this thing is a little bit too powerful, to be honest. This is going to be too easy crushing all of these Gunners. We don't even have to rely on sneak attack uh, criticals to do our damage, which is pretty much what you usually do on very hard. And it's actually firing so fast that the um, sound is glitching out, so that's fun. And we'll just go ahead and finish her off. And you can die, you can die. And you're dead quick as well. So definitely a good start for the Subma Shotgun. Um, yeah, if you go ahead and chuck on the rapid receiver, you'll go ahead and get the bleeding damage stacking even faster, which would be crazy, but since these guys are only basic, or well, not basic, but gunners that you'll find in the vanilla game, they're not going to be the strongest we enemies we fight today, but it's a good little, um, god damn, I wish that, wish that, um, cap would... That cap perk will stop rocking because every time it does, I drop like 60 frames. It's terrible. Alright, that turret goes down. And the sound's glitching. Apologies to any loudness in the sound that may cause a rupturing of eardrums. You're dead. Are we getting um, cap splashes every kill? It feels like that. Anyways, we'll move on to this gunner in here and fill him up. Another cap splash there. Just wow, okay. I don't think I added anything to this gun that would alter the rate at which caps would explode from your enemies, but it's definitely a thing. Another one. Another one. Interesting. What about you? Yep, it seems like every kill I'm getting here is just a cap splash kill. Either I'm ex absurdly lucky or I tweak something in this thing that uh, makes it do more cap splashing. I don't know. But anyways, this thing really doesn't need me to explain how powerful this thing is because obviously you've just seen it there. We'll go ahead and push this thing to the limit and try and kill Swan with it. Right, time to hunt down and kill Swan again. So there he is over there. And what we'll do this time is just go ahead and crouch down near him and see what we can do when we're sneaking and getting lots of sneak attack crits with this weapon. So just to go out of his cone of vision there, not that it really exists there, I probably should have been spotted doing that. We'll just go ahead right up close to him and fill him with all of the 12 gauge buckshot that he could possibly take. So let's go. Alright, still hasn't detected us yet, good news, and wow, that's absolutely destroying him, and that'll take him out there, just less than three mags, about a hundred shotgun shells went into him, I reckon. This thing is truly powerful, yeah, um, 
We'll go ahead and move on to another monster, maybe something a little bit more deadly. Okay, so here we are up in Giant Knight Stalker Deathclaw territory. I've gone ahead and chucked the uh, jacketed hollow point out, and um, that doesn't really work on a shotgun, but we'll just roll with it anyway. Instead, we've gone ahead and chucked on the explosive effect, so let's see how we go against him. Surprisingly not as good, although I believe this dude's health pool is just a little bit larger than Swan's, and we weren't getting snake attack crits constantly. So he's right on my tail there. We'll go ahead and turn him around and try to kill him. And damn, my ears hurt now. So he'll go over there. And uh, yes, a volume warning for the next couple of times I start shooting at him. We'll go ahead and try to take him out in bats and see what we do there. Go for a crit just to guarantee that hit. And all those projectiles hitting him, putting in decent dints to his health all the while getting him. So we'll just keep on shooting him. Oh, okay. If, I'm glad I only had 32 shotgun rounds in there because if I had any more I would have shot directly into that tree and I'd probably be dead. Alright, so I'm getting confused because the death claw roars are happening after the fact because... Okay, that was a mythic death claw. They're happening after they happen because the sound needs to catch up if there's too much sound. It's a very odd glitch that I might have to look at. Maybe it's something to do with V-Sync, I don't know. But anyways, wait, wait, video sync, that's just, never mind, I don't even know what I'm talking about. Anyways, we'll take out this Deathclaw minion, and he is the only one left down there, so we'll try to finish him off. We're getting a reasonably tight grouping, even though we are using a shotgun from this range, so that's pretty good. We'll keep on chasing him around, um, we're still in caution somehow, but we'll keep on shooting him from here, and if I could just get a good few hits on him, in fact... Okay, he's still pushing back. He ran out of rendered distance. Did he just disappear on me? Or did he teleport? No, he just teleported. Fine, whatever. We'll get rid of him nice and quick now. Let's just... Oh, okay, that hurt. And that hurt. The bad friggin' follow-up claw to their attacks usually gets you. That's why you gotta watch out for um, death claws. Even the little ones in the game, they pick you up and they drop you. And as you're getting up, they go for a cheeky little claw on you, and it does even more damage. Okay. I think we're dead. We are not dead. We're not dead. It is all fine. Okay. We killed him, but we killed ourselves in the process. You know what? That's fine. I'll take it. We'll move on to another monster. Don't use this thing in vats with explosive at that close range. I think that goes without saying. Right. How about a submar shotgun that fires cannonballs? Hmm? Too much, probably, but let's just find out what this thing does anyway. So, bombs away. Ooh, nice, you shower them all over. And that bear is definitely going into space. The sound has glitched once again, and if I could just get a few hits on you, the bear would definitely die there. Let's just slip around this thing here. Oh god, the sound is catching up and my ears are starting to bleed. This is great. Ow. Can I just, uh, yeah, I could just clip right past you. Um, Wow, he's gotten himself stuck. Good job, bear. Um, I'm just going to continue to shoot at you until you're dead. Yep, that does it for him. And I think this thing fires a lot of... Yeah. Okay, the sound is distracting me. Much like... Okay, there we go. We're finally caught up there. And off that dude goes into space. Can we hit him one more time? Yes, we can. And, um, I think there's a bunch of raiders over there, so if I could just angle this properly and shoot... Ah, uh, that'll probably get them. It's like an artillery strike or something. No, the projectiles are disappearing before they even get there. Okay, we need to be closer. Take that. No, not quite. Still not in danger here, or caution at least. Okay, there we go. Yep, that, that did them in. And with on that note, I believe that is a good time to end this video. So if you'd like to see this weapon in your game and play Fallout 4 on any platform, that's right, PS4 users, you can use this one too. Be sure to check out the Wacky Weapons mod listed in the description below. And if you'd like to have a taste of some of these legendary effects used during the video, I mean, except for explosive, go ahead and download my... Um, legendary effects mod and links to that one will be in the description too i think that is it for the mods and stuff used in relation to the weapons so with that thank you for watching guys and i'll see you tomorrow